This beach I'm standing on is getting beaten up by Hurricane Aaron, despite the storm being hundreds of miles away. Just a few days ago, this spot on the Jersey Shore had about 100 yards of sand from the dune to the surf. Some of the waves are getting up to 12 feet high, and there are wind gusts of up to 50 miles an hour. It sandblasts your bare skin. I actually tried to record this on the beach, but the wind was too strong for the mic to pick up anything I said. And all of this from a hurricane that is more than 300 miles southeast of here. That's because Aaron is one of the largest hurricanes in history, 800 miles wide. It's also one of the quickest storms ever to get up to a Category 5. And a lot of its incredible strength and size has to do with climate change. Warm water is like fuel for hurricanes, and the part of the ocean Aaron passed over as it formed was more than one degree Celsius hotter because of climate change, according to the research group Climate Central. Aaron's winds are nine miles an hour faster, and it gained a whole extra point on the Saphir-Simpson hurricane wind scale because of a hotter planet. Hurricanes have always been around, and climate change might not be making more hurricanes happen, but it makes the ones that do happen stronger. And when we talk about the sea level rise of climate change, we're not just talking about a slow, steady increase. We're talking about big storms like these taking out beaches at places like the Outer Banks in North Carolina or the Jersey Shore. More and more of us are finding ourselves on the front line of climate change and having to decide whether to stay and fight nature or retreat.